Welcome back to A Day in SA, where we bring you the latest updates on significant events shaping the nation. Today, we delve into a developing story that has sent shockwaves across the country. Kiernan, aka Forbes bodyguard Anwar Khan, finds himself at the center of a scandal involving fraud and corruption at the University of Fort Hare. Anwar Khan and 14 others were apprehended and brought before the Dimbaza Magistrates Court in the Eastern Cape, following their arrest over the Easter weekend. Initially, the police hinted at a plethora of charges, including fraud, corruption, kidnapping, murder, and attempted murder. However, the National Prosecuting Authority, NPA, confirmed that all 15 individuals are facing charges of fraud, racketeering, and corruption. This development sheds light on a broader criminal network operating within the University of Fort Hare. Shockingly, a total of 25 individuals have been arrested in connection with various crimes at the university, with some facing even graver charges like murder and attempted murder. The University of Fort Hare has been marred by violence, with incidents like the tragic murder of Fort Hare fleet manager Pete Roetz in May 2022 and the targeted killing of bodyguard Mbonelli Vesela outside the university's vice-chancellor's house in January 2023. Reports suggest that substantial bounties were placed on the lives of key university figures, indicating the depth of corruption and criminality plaguing the institution. Among the arrested individuals are prominent figures, including taxi bosses from KwaZulu-Natal and a 31-year-old Eastern Cape police constable named Linda Kule Manjati. The involvement of such diverse actors underscores the complexity of the criminal syndicate unearthed at the University of Fort Hare. National Police Commissioner General Fanny Massimola has vowed to leave no stone unturned in unraveling the truth behind the fraud, corruption, and murders at the university. A dedicated team is diligently working to gather evidence and apprehend those responsible, ensuring that justice is served. Anwar Khan, the owner of the Pentagon Group, a private security agency based in KwaZulu-Natal, was not only AKA's longtime bodyguard, but also had a significant role in other high-profile cases, including attending the bail application of suspects implicated in AKA's murder in February 2023. Khan's assertion that the true mastermind behind AKA's death remains at large adds another layer of intrigue to this unfolding saga. As the investigation progresses and the accused await their fate behind bars, the case of fraud and corruption at the University of Fort Hare serves as a stark reminder of the challenges facing South Africa's institutions. Stay tuned to A Day in SA for further updates on this developing story. Thank you for watching.